Hello everybody, this is Vicious, and welcome back to more South Park and the Stick of Truth. So yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry about that, guys. I had the holidays and all the other stuff I had to do. A lot of shopping, a lot of spending time with family and friends. But anyway, we're finally back to South Park and the Stick of Truth. So we're off to Canada. Because Canada. So this is about my fourth time recording this episode alone, just because... For some odd reason, every time I go to record it... It doesn't want to record. It just outright stops recording, or... For some reason I hit the button at the wrong time, and... Stupid things happen, but yeah, we're finally back. So our goal this episode is to go to Canada. Do all the wonderful Canadian stuff. And then we're gonna head on over to the sewers, if we have enough time, because there's sewer things to do. So yeah, we're basically coming to the end of the game here, guys. Ow, ow, ow. Stop that. Actually, you can't cup a spell. You have to dragon shout. Ready? Ready? Dragon shout! Yeah, dragon shout. I'm following you here. I hope so anyway, to get through the woods, which is not too difficult. North, north, north. Oh, yeah, north. Did I, have, did I say north? Because I think I said north. Right? North? Yeah, north. Anyway, hello, patrol border guy. We're coming yep, through. You see? No matter which way you go, I block you. No, you block me. Oh my what, god. You think we just let anybody into Canada? Yeah? Hey, come on. Look at me. I'm a cool guy. Ah, I see you have a passport. Yes, I All do. Right, hand it over. I had to deal with the pedophile for it. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Yay, Canada! Oh, oh she should probably open that up, shouldn't you? So yeah, we're finally in Canada, guys. So we have to come here to get that note translated. Also, listen to that beautiful music. It's so good. Ah, yes, Canada. It reminds you of that 16-bit era RPG, you know, Super Nintendo. I remember those days. Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. Secret Evermore, Earthbound. Oh, I can go on forever about those games. But we have South Park to play, so I'm going to shut up now. So anyway, we have some shops we can explore. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Oh, your wares? Okay, what do you have? The Claymore of the Warrior. Huh, how about that? And the Canadian Halibur, which is actually really, really good. The Claymore of the Warrior, not so good, but eh. Does have a lot of stat boost to it. We can preview it. Oh my god. Yeah, the Canadian Halbert is a hockey stick with an... Is that the skate blade at the end of it? I don't even know. Well, oh, yeah. The they also have a uh, strap bomb. We don't have enough money for it right now because once you reach Canada, you have no money. So if you're smart and saved up all your money, or if you did like I did and spent all your money on um, the best weapon and range weapon in the game, uh, you're going to be kind of shit out of luck here. Well, that's okay. To Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for an HIV test? I can heal you for five Canadian dollars. So we don't we don't have five Canadian come back dollars. You need healing or another because HIV we're poor. Test. I mean, we just got to Canada. I mean, come on, guys. This guy over here, you can change your currency into Canadian money. We're not gonna do that because we actually have no money to <laughs> translate into currency. I said translate, didn't I? What is wrong with me? I don't know. I'm gonna break the stuff because I can. I mean, look at all this nice pottery here. It's lovely. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour. Or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Ah, oh, the candelabras. Sorry, I'm all Dad, about that. I'm on duty. I'm all about the can candelabras. What do you guys think? Are you about that stuff, too? I am. I am. See, so yeah, we're just gonna break some stuff here because we need the stuff to sell off. Picking up that pixelated shards. I love how they call it pixelated shards. Ah, oh, this place is great. Oh, hail the prince and princess of Canada! Ah! Oh. Yay! I love that guy. He's like, yeah. Well, well, Sounds so excited here? to be here. A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. Yes, we did. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. Oh, How can I help you? Lovely. What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. Hmm. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, 
The wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. Dire wolves? You know what dire wolves are, right? No. They're like wolves, but they're dire. Oh my god. The dire wolves? Can we handle them? I don't know, guys. Dire wolves. I mean, wolves we could take, no problem. I mean, come on. They're easy. But dire wolves? Oh. Be a difficult fight, guys. But anyway, we have the most difficult boss coming up in the entire game. I mean, the gift shop is evil. How can you bypass such an evil, evil thing? Look at this place. Disgusting. With their knickknacks and their whatever else they have here, the t-shirts. Damn you, t-shirts. Anyway, moving on. I mean, this, we can get out of this way, right? It's not bad, right? Hold it right Ah, crap! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? Oh, I don't know, man. 8x10s? 5x7s? Oh, I don't know! I don't know! Oh my god! Um, 8x10s! Right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Oh, I, I would've picked the 5x7s. Well, you know what? Next time you can pick it. And for that, no. get a smack. I picked the pictures. This is all my dime. You enjoy the trip. And do what I want to do. So anyway, we're off to go see the Earl of Winnipeg. But watch out for Dire Wolf, because, well, the Dire. Fight! Anyway, we actually do have to fight Dire creatures here, because... You just don't get it. Yeah. Anyway, Plagues of Egypt! Got that on his face. Look at that. A little bit of fire. Sounds lovely. And then we're just going to drop Rain of Arrows on your face, because we can. Ready? I hate doing the timing on this. I really do. Fire! But that was done really, really well, actually. Yes! Yes! Fantastic job, everybody. Yes, we defeated the Dire Wolves. Now, before we actually continue on into Winnipeg, we're actually going to go up here real quick. Yeah, let's fight another Dire Wolf real fast. I'll do everything I can. Because it's a part of Jimbo's quest we have to do up here, actually. Uh, we're going to use some Circumcise. We're going to use Plagues of Egypt because we're trying to weaken, weaken these guys as much as possible. So the cows can kill them off with random arrows. I know that sounds like incredibly cheap, but for these dire creatures, you actually want to do that. These guys are really cheap. They hit for a lot of damage, Ready? and I have no armor on. So we're just gonna use our cheapness as much as possible. That's why because I can! That's right, yeah, I'm the Dragonborn. Yeah! Go Dragonborn. So anyway, this little uh, spider web. Please leave victory sign. Anyway, this spider web over here. Use the poutine. And we get to fight a spider! Nature, oh my god. I heed your call. Let's do this. So he has a thousand armor. Which is ridiculous! So I think we're gonna use our jujitsu. Oh, are we taking a break now? Yeah! And now he stuns. That's super helpful. And then we're gonna drop our rain of arrows because we can. Ready? Hopefully I don't mess this up. Aim. Knowing my luck, I will. Fire. No, actually surprisingly enough, I got that easily. But yeah, you can tell yeah, bleeding. And he has a lot of freaking armor. Bleeding time six, though. It's kind of busted. Yeah! That kosher damage is too good. So you got the Barbarian Gloves. That's actually part of a really, really good set of armor. Make sure to find it. If you don't, you're going to be quite upset. Also, the next piece is actually up this way. Look at that fancy boat. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm not paying for two boats. We got the barbarian mole out of that. Anyway, to Winnipeg! Because things. Oh, this Welcome is a lovely to Winnipeg. place. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Okay. It's just T's and M's. I mean, what else can I do with them? Lumberjacking's dangerous work. What with all these dire bears around? Di dire bears, too? Jesus. I mean, the wolves we can handle. Dire bears? Can we handle those? Do we have the power to stop dire bears? I mean, look at this guy over here. What happened to him? This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. Oh my god. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. Ugh. 
This sounds scary. But anyway, here is the Earl of Winnipeg. But first, we're gonna break his bases because we can. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Because I'm awesome? Kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. Wait, wait, you want me to kill those dire bears? Oh, oh my god. Can we do this? Can you help me? Glad you gotta fight dire bears and not me. Oh, well, I see how it is. Oh my god, look at that thing. Looks evil. Look at the skulls everywhere. This thing's killed a lot. Oh my god. It's time. Three of them. What are you, freaking Sailor Moon over here, Kyle? Speaking of Sailor Moon, I hope everybody's enjoying that uh, remake of it. I'm not much of a Sailor Moon fan, so I'm not really enjoying it myself, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Kyle! Arrows! Aim! Where are the wings is ass? Take that, Dire Bears! Yes! I have a Jew with me. Well, in this case, a Druid. So we got Dire Bear Pelt. Three of them. Also, there's nothing fancy up there, which kind of makes me sad. We get the other one? There we go. But say, don't tell me we missed out on the third one. We need that. So I'm just go talk to him about his uh, Dire Bear problem. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these Dire Bear Pelts! Now I can finally make a dire robe. Hey, I don't want to die robe. I killed him. It's not fair. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the oh, The Minister, we need him. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him, and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy. I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. Oh my god. I still want that dire robe. It's not fair. Anyway, we have to talk to the prince again, because princely things. Um... Yeah, I don't think anything else we can do right now. And this way! Also, we forgot to go up these stairs here. Let's go check it out. Oh! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Buck just walks into someone's house! Oh! Oh! That's lovely! Who does that? Actually, that is kind of my fault, because... I did walk into their house when they're having sex. My bad. That's what I get, I guess. And I'm just breaking your crap anyway, because I can. Anyway, let's talk to the prince again. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the minister of Montreal. Yeah. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Oh. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is Pretty a liberal. Sure he, he does right these now. things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop God, of Banff you want me to kill a bishop? and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Oh my god. He wants me to kill a bishop? Ugh. Why am I doing everybody's freaking dirty work in this game? <sighs> I need sledge translated. What else can you do? Oh my god, dire bears on the field now. Damn dire bears. Wait, is that a dire snake? Crap. Dire snakes. These guys are nasty. Ah, oh, they gave me dire aids too. So yeah, that can happen. Um, If they hit you, you have a chance to get aids. In this case, dire aids. Or some sort of other STD they can give you. I guess! More of that? And the fire. Because I can. Um. What do you summon elemental? Kick the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby! Yeah! yeah! Take that! Oh, he's grossed out. I don't I'd to kick that freaking baby in the head. How about that? Dude, you got dire aids, weak. I have dire aids now, crap. 
Damn, people, can you help me? Oh my god, there's no healing here. Oh my god, I have tirades! I must go get a cure first. Winnipeg? Do you have any? God dang it, there's no medical facilities around here. Well, back to Ottawa, I guess. I need to get rid of that nasty dire AIDS. I didn't think a snake could actually give you AIDS, AIDS, but okay. I can heal it for five Canadian dollars. You are Thank now you. cured of dire AIDS. You still have AIDS, but it is no longer dire. It's like Magic Johnson AIDS. What's Magic Johnson AIDS? I don't know. I, I just don't know anymore, guys. This game is taking me for like a loop everywhere. With his craziness! They wait to bounce! What are you doing out here, sir? Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Wow! I don't want that! You can go to Newfoundland by yourself there, buddy. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my waz? What do you have here, good sir? Holy Mosad knife. I guess that's how you say it, Mosad. Equipment-wise, you have the bishop... Attire? Material? Bishop gloves and the bishop vestment. A good armor, actually. Well, actually, no armor, just HP. There's stuff later on that gets like much better in HP, actually. That's a beaver. That is a beaver indeed. Hey, right, let's go talk to the bishop. Because we have to kill him. I mean, that's what the prince wants us to do. His dirty work. Also, open that up. Come over to this chest, and I believe there's another piece of barbarian equipment in here. Oh, actually, no, it's just a discus. The discus of bleeding! Which is actually really, really good, so I highly recommend using it. And we're gonna equip the um, joy buzzer on it. Oh, we picked up some new stuff as well. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff we picked up. Rapper's beard. I guess if you like the, the rapper style. Anyway, moving on to the bishop of Banff. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. The prince thinks Canada is a monarchy. But there's other people with opinions by God. Sorry, God. Praise Christ. Praise... What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Who the fuck hits a bishop? I just did, actually. Assassin! All right, so, um... It's bishop time. First, plagues of Egypt. So we're gonna mess up that, uh... He knows not what he does. And we're gonna jump burning. Cause we can. She did bleeding multiple times, but eh. What are you gonna do? Let's summon elemental. Kick the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby! I just Yay! did! I oh, that's a lot thing. of freaking damage! But he just healed himself. Oh my god, that's annoying. Can't use plagues of Egypt again, so we're gonna use Sling of David. Ah, but he's immune to being pissed. God, he's good. Um, yeah, rate of arrows. I think that's gonna happen here. Ready? Aim. Aim. Fire! Fire! Take this fish up. He's almost dead. <laughs> oh my god, he just farted on me. How the bishop does that? Maybe you show up the discus of bleeding. There we go! We defeated the Bishop of Banff! Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the Prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the Prince Wait, the I dire pigs too? So the last time I actually killed the Bishop, so this time I'm gonna take the dire pig testicles because Bless I wanna see what happens. Son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. A noble decision to make. Yeah, we get a friend I request. I right to trust you. So I guess if you're going for the 100% friend request thing, you actually need to save the guy. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. I shall turn the other cheek. <laughs> okay, you can walk up and hit him all you want. And he won't do anything to you now because you're friends. I'm friends with the bishop. I must be like the coolest person in the world. Hey, look at me. You get dire bears. Run away! Back to Ottawa to tell the prince that we killed the bishop of Banff. 
Well, not really. We're just carrying some pig, pig testicles because... Canada? I guess? Oh, these are indeed troubling times. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yes, we did. Yay, Where's the testicles? The balls. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. Oh, what but an a-hole. Age, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. All right. Well, the prince is a dick. But we got his friend request, though. We're best buddies with the Prince of Canada. Yay. More stuff to sell. Through the gift shop of evilness. You already got your photos. Go on, get out. Oh, I want more photos. Or. Jeez, I just, you know, I'd like another photo. I need wallet sizes, man. Wallet sizes. Anyway, we're all the way over to Vancouver. Vancouver land. That was a hockey player. I guess, you know, Canada and hockey, you know, that stuff. What do you got to sell, my Welcome good man? To shop. Can I interest you in my wares? And your wares? Archmage wand? Not bad. Broken shield sticker. That's some consumables. I think we have some junk to sell, so I guess we'll sell it all. A lot of crap. There we go. We have money now. It's just we don't have a lot. Because we bought amazing equipment. Yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Anyway, come over here and break this wall. Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Yeah, I hate that guy, too. I don't know yeah, who you're talking about, that. but I hate that guy as well. So, yeah. Your first piece of... Actually, your second piece of barbarian equipment. The barbarian helmet. Let's do 70 armor. And we get the serrated axe of rendering. And a lumberjack beard. Because lumberjacks. Vancouver man, help me! A letter from the princess? The princess? But the, why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Oh my god, I have to speak with these monks! Monks? I mean, we are wearing monk robes. I mean, we should be in, like, instantly, right? I mean, look at that. We're rocking monk robes. Look at my tiny little boat! Damn it, Kyle, I'm not paying for your boat, too! Oh, hey, look, it's Terrence and Philip. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. Oh, know how to fart, huh? I'll show you. Take that! <laughs> <laughs> he knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. Forget! That's that! Oh, stop it! He can cup a spell! If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? Alright, so we need to show him a sneaky squeaker. Come on, Randy. The sneaky squeaker! Yes! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. I yes. am. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Yay! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, what's going on? Hey! Why did you fart on me? Oh, my God. Am I in heaven? Your magic is impressive, young American. <gasps> this is a matrix! Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such Eric Von Thunderpants. But what now, a wonderful you must name. learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Cool. Hmm. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Okay. Can I have your cloaks? I kind of want the cloaks to wear. Believe in yourself! Oh, jackets, really, but... Art! That's it! Now let us see how Nagasaki works in battle! To do. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their uh, with you, and you damage them all with one move. Jesus Not game. I am underage, good sir. Take that! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! 
We have the power! Oh, you is that a dream? It. Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind. And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Okay. So now we know Nagasaki. How about that? That is the last fart spell that you learn in the game. So, uh, yeah, that's it for farting. What do you have to say? I have no idea what you have to say. Many wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Huh. Is that nice? I got dire snakes. No. Anyway, to the cave. Oh, cool. Crap! Fire bear. Not to fight it. We stand together against the darkness. Oh, why you get the fart on me, man? What the hell are you doing? Jesus. You know what? For that, plagues of Egypt. And have some apple you go. And you know what? For that, you get rain of arrows! Ready? Aim! Fire! Fire the arrows! And those are some dead bears. I hope this alliance can last. Bears. And it gets a closest closer to um level 14. Anyway, time to go to the cave of Quebec. What are you saying Hello? over there, good sir? Is that French? So anyway, Nagasaki! We have to hold it there until it explodes. <laughs> that is some sick magic you got there. Dude, you okay? Can I do this right? Wait, wait, wait! Hello, mother. Hello, Asuko. I was on the wrong button. That's why. <laughs> Go me. Yes, Nagasaki. It did the thing. Do we break these like mountains of mud? I guess not. Oh God. Look at that. It's dire snakes, dire wolves, and dire bears. The only thing we're missing here are dire pigs. Here we go, guys. Fight! They just bum rush us. Let us restore the balance of nature by kicking ass! Yes! Let's kick some ass. So we're gonna drop a lot of plagues of Egypt on them. I'm gonna use this one a lot. Because bleeding is amazing in this game. And then we're going to do Rain of Arrows because we're busted. Ready? Aim. Fire! Play on the arrows! Look how they're all running around like, oh my god! I am really impressed. And there we go. We killed the entire Dire family. And we're at level 14. Victory! See, if you actually miss picking up one of things in here, um, you can always come back a little bit later and the bag will be left there for you to grab. So now that we're level 14, we have some stuffs to equip. First off, let's get rid of this stuff here. I do like our discus, but uh, not that great anymore. Alright, now that we're all like decked out, we can start putting on our barbarian stuff, because we are barbarians. Um, I guess I don't have the um, chest piece yet. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and then we have our sweet katana and our crossbow of impalement. Time to deck ourselves out with some beautiful stuff here. Um, hmm, what to use? Three shields? That could come in handy. Uh, I think we're going to go with the, the shield removal. I think the shield removal will probably be the best. Because there's still some enemies we have to fight that actually have shield removal, like shield on them, so, uh, yeah. Um. Let's go with some gross out damage on my bow. Helmet, you can have, um. 10 more damage with that. Oh, we still have the monk's robes on, but. Don't worry, that's gonna be gone soon. 
Melee weapons will inflict 200 more damage. Uh, I like that 50 HP a turn, so we're gonna get that. But anyway, the last piece of the barbarian equipment should be right here. Oh! So there we go. Let's put that on real fast while we're here. Barbarian armor! We are now a true barbarian. And uh, what's I put on here? Add seven armor, reducing enemy attacks. Not bad. Increase HP by two. Oh, more HP. There we go. But first, before we can complete the whole thing, we need that fancy barbarian wig. Yes, barbarians. Anyway, let's talk to the uh, Quebec man over here. Oh, I'm sorry, the minister, the minister of Montreal. What? Okay. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Okay. So we got two friend requests out of that as well. Amazing. Oh, there we go. We're ready to pick up a patch. We have about 50 Canadian dollars. We have a new message from our friends. So we have eight new friends. Look at all those friends. All those Canadian friends. You are a true hero of Canada. I'm sitting on a toilet taking a huge smelly dump because I'm a big dumb fat ass. <laughs> Lol, make a better password for your account, fat ass. <laughs> Fuck you guys, seriously. Just landed a new celebrity client. I can't reveal her name. Let's just say she's a 300 foot tall robot dinosaur. Come on, one hint. <laughs> Oh, I love the stuff they talk about. That was great. Oh god, Tiger Bear! It was after me. So it did pretty much everything we do in Canada. Um, if you want to, probably before leaving, change your currency, your Canadian money, into actual American money. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, American money. The current exchange rate is what? Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, American money. Yeah, we'll keep the rest. We'll keep like $10 just in case. So we have 37 actual American dollars to spend. Let's get out of Canada because Dio animals scare me. Yes, Dio animals. Goodbye, my Canadian friend. Not enough of Canada, eh? Can't say I blame you. Oh, well, Canada wasn't that bad. I mean, it's a 16-bit uh, Super Nintendo RPG. I'm following you here. I hope you weren't... Please hit me! No! Oh, yeah. Did I not hit him? Crap. I think I hit Kyle instead. Damn it, Kyle! But anyway, we have some Nazi zombies to kill. Let's see how they stand up to our amazing katana. Oh! One hit, one kill, baby. Have some of that golf ball. I hate curb stomps. Oh, come on, I was blocking that, like, perfectly. You screwed me over. Anyway, we're going to use Plagues of Egypt real fast because, uh... I want the other one to go away. I have more damage and more attack downs. And Kyle, I think we're going to use, uh, Windstorm. Why not? I got did it too late, nah. I don't know, Windstorm is really, really weird to use. Stop being an asshole! Come here! Ooh. Ah, summon the baby. Okay, I kick the baby! Don't kick the goddamn baby! Yay! Kick the goddamn baby! Yeah! Take that! The bastards. See, a Nazi ring. We need those, though. We need uh, two more, it looks like. Yeah, we still need two more Nazi rings. I'll have to do that off-screen, just because it's about us killing zombies and such. It's not very exciting to watch me just kill zombies until they drop rings. So, yeah. We have that letter translated, finally. Hey, there's a new message from Timmy. How about that? Also, you can't really sell things to bums. Anyway, back on over to the girls. But first, we have to run back to the city hall because that's where they're currently located at. Well, the girl we can talk to to take us over there. Because 
We have no idea where their hideout is. I used to be sad, but I found Jesus at the church. Yeah, I found them too. Actually, I found them twice. What about you? Ready to go back? Yeah, let's go see the girls. See yeah, this is like the third, like I said, this is the third time I'm recording this uh, See, right video. here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. Huh. It's Heidi's mom. So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch. Yeah. Two-faced bitch. Is irrefutable. Face yeah. We now know it was no Heidi Turner is. all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore. Two-faced butt rag. Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass. Ouch. But Heidi's really sorry. So we're deciding to forgive her. What? I love you guys so much. Well, we love you, you made me go through all that just to forgive her? You served us well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Ugh, at least we got that done. Sunshine! Girls are confusing! So we got Wendy's, Bebe, and Red's friend requests. But make sure to talk to everybody here because more friend requests to grab. So you can like my posts. Yeah! I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. I am. I'm just my mouse stick. Valkyrie headband, armor, and gloves. They're actually level 14. 80 armor, not bad. 130, not bad. And more 50, huh, not bad. Thing. It's actually not that bad of an equipment set. I learned that betrayal can actually make your friendship stronger, and it's all thanks to you. Yeah! Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. I guess. Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops. I almost forgot you're not a girl. I could be a girl. I mean, look at my long, flowing red hair. I mean, none of you have anything on this. None of you. But yeah, since we actually completed the uh, girl's side quest, or main girl, quest, granted full access to our adorable supplies. so we can actually check out their shops now, and we can enter their place whenever we want to. So there's some interesting equipment we're going to get here if you have the money to do it. Um, yeah, if you want to look like a whore, you can. There's whore stuff. Look at me, I, I could be a whore. Or I could be like in the leather. Yeah, that looks lovely on me, doesn't it? Or I could look like a pretty, pretty princess. I think Kenny needs that equipment. Plus, we have junk to sell, so let's get rid of all this Canadian junk. Who needs Canadian junk? Also, I believe there's some uh, flair you can grab from them as well and equipment patches. Uh, we're going to grab this. And yeah. That's all we really need from them. If you're going for 100%, like, there's an achievement for getting all the equipment in the game, and it's an achievement for getting all the weapons and such. If you're going for that, you're going to need a lot of money. There's a lot of stuff you have to, have to kill. You'd be really smart with money, too. So, uh, if you're going for that, I recommend getting one of the armor sets that increase your money income. So far, I only know of one piece of equipment that actually allows you to gain more money. That's not DLC. So, uh, there you go. But anyway, guys, we finally finished up the, um, girls' quest, which is a main quest. Uh, we went to Canada, we did all the Canadian things. And now we have to actually go back and talk to Kyle and all them and tell them we got the girls to play with us. But first, we have a bunch of side quests to complete because this upcoming part is going to be the final stretch of the game. We're going to be invading, um... Oh, Clyde's base of like evilness and such. What are you doing? The mighty frost giant. I stand in awe of you, hero. Yes, I am a hero. We already got your friend request, so we're good. But yeah, now that we have all that done, there's a bunch of side quests we have to do. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually head to the sewers. Because there's a new summon to grab down there, and it can be quite helpful when we get into the end of the game. Uh, it's just in my house over there. So yeah, we're going to take the uh, Faust route over to the sewer, which is about right here, I think, right? Yeah. I think this is it, right? Yeah, it's sewers. So, head hey, down to the sewers! Dog. You should consider having some work done. Also, there's another kid if you didn't find him last time down here. Puma told me to pick that spot. Pretty good, huh? They told you to hide into a sewer? Jeez, you have some terrible friends. Can I not break this? Can I not break this? Oh. So anyway, we need our um, alien probability. We haven't used this in a while, have we? Valkyrie patch, how about that? How about that indeed? So anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it here. So on the next episode of South Park and the Stick of Truth, 
we're going to venture down into the sewers and see if we can kill some bums and maybe help a friend down here. I have been your host, Vicious, and have a great day, everybody. See ya.